Hi there, welcome to the Reynolds Report. Time for my awards after week 12 in the NFL. Offense, I'm going to give to Julio Jones. This guy is historically great. 12 catches, 253 yards and two touchdowns in Atlanta's third straight win. That's three times in his career Julio's gone over the 250 yard receiving mark. Every other receiver that's done it in their career just once. Julio's done it three times now. Also, shout out to Philip Rivers. He was outstanding on Thanksgiving Day. 434 yards and three touchdowns uh, for the suddenly red-hot Chargers. Defense, I'm going to go back to Thanksgiving Day as well for Everson Griffin. He had two sacks for the Vikings in their win over the Detroit Lions. He's now got 12 on the year, so he gets defense uh, in week 12. Special teams, 42-year-old kicker Phil Dawson. What a hero for the Arizona Cardinals as they see off the Jacksonville Jaguars. 57-yard field goal with one second remaining uh, for the win for the Cardinals. He also kicked from 38, 42, and 48 yards. He was integral in that Cardinals victory. Coach of the week, I'm going to say Sean McVay of the Rams. This guy's just energized this team. He works in beautiful conjunction with Jared Goff. He works so well with Wade Phillips, uh, and that was a huge win against the Saints and really defense took over after a good offensive performance in the first half. So Sean McVay uh, is coach of the week and our goat of the week. It saddens me to say because he's a great guy. It's Alex Smith of the Kansas City Chiefs. Chiefs have lost five of their last six. They are in free fall and Alex threw a costly interception driving, needing a touchdown late. He gifts the interception to Tredavious White uh, of the Buffalo Bills and I wonder I don't think they should go to Patrick Mahomes just yet. I think Alex Smith still offers Kansas City the best chance to win the division, but I'm worried it might happen.